everyone, Joshua Myers here, and welcome back for another video. And today here we are going to be doing another collection update video. And I do got a lot of stuff, so let's just dive right in. Hello Detective Banks, I want to play a game. summer 2023 uh now we're into 2024 so it's been summer 2024 so it's been a whole year since i did one of these and i've gotten a decent amount of stuff from between uh then and now and uh let's dive right into what i got here now we're going to do this after the order so uh first pile here i mean you can already tell this is a big pile but i also got another pile over there so first one we got here is one I haven't seen before and that is Rob Zombies 31. Never seen this movie so I was like I saw this at the pawn shop that I frequently go to and I was like you know what I'll pick it up and I got it for free through trading so don't really know much about this movie but there are special features on here there is a uh, in Hell, Everybody Loves Popcorn, The Making of 31, a comprehensive two-hour documentary of the making of the film, and there's an audio commentary with writer-director Rob Zombie, so, yeah, uh, I don't know how good this movie is, uh, if anybody in the comments can tell me whether you guys think I'd like this film or not, uh, again, without any spoilers, if I see anything spoiler spoiler ish in this uh video i will delete them in the comments so uh yeah but just go in the comment section below and let me know if you think i like this or not uh so yeah rob zombies 31 next up is essentially a rebuy because i wanted to get make sure i had all these movies and uh have them in one collection and i saw this at a garage sale i believe i was like okay I'll pick it up, and that is the uh, Blade for Film Collection. Now, this includes uh, Blade, Blade 2, Blade Trinity, and then uh, Blade House of uh, Cycon, I think. I'm not sure if that's an animated movie or something like that, or if it's actually a legitimate fourth point film. Uh, but yeah, uh, so it includes uh, the first three films with Wesley Snipes. And, yes, I know this is technically Marvel, but it deals with vampires and all that stuff, so that's why it goes in here. Uh, never seen any of the Blade movies, so don't know much about Blade. Uh, my first encounter with Blade as a character, surprisingly, is, funny enough, is, uh, you guys remember the uh, PS2 video game, uh, Spider-Man Friend or Foe, uh, that came out right after, Spi like, right around when Spider-Man 3 came out so I think it came out like a year later so 2008 and uh, one of the characters you get to play at so essentially the game is like uh, you play as spider-man and you all the, the gimmick is you get to also play as his uh, enemies from the movies uh, you get to play like it's a two-player game you, one player gets to play spider-man or any of the amount of villains and you and the same thing with the other player you get to play as villains like uh, Green Goblin, uh, Doc Ock, even Harry Osborn is the Green Goblin from the third Spider-Man movie, uh, uh, Venom, Sandman, Rhino, uh, even some characters that I kind of remember is like, oh, these were, this character was in this, uh, like uh, the Prowler. Now you remember the Prowler from those uh, Spider-Man's Spider-Verse movies, but, uh, he wasn't a big character around the time 
this came out, so it's like, huh, kind of funny. Um, but also, too, one of the characters you get to play as is Blade. Uh, so, yeah. Um, that was my first encounter with Blade as a character, like, as a character, but, uh, yeah. Uh, the Blade 4 film set on DVD. Next up is for another film that I have seen. Uh, for any of the films I have covered, and I'll try to put my reviews in the link in the description box below so you guys can check out my full thoughts on these movies. But I got this. I was planning picking it up on Amazon, but then I was like, oh, I found this at the pawn shop, and I was like, might as well get it. And then that is the crap. Um, not going to talk about much about this, uh, movie, but, uh, again, if you want to hear my full thoughts on the craft, uh, the link to my review will be in the description box below, so you guys can hear my thoughts. But there are special features, uh, mostly it's just, oh, there's an isolated music score, so you can listen, I guess that means you can listen to, like, watch the film and have it just be the music. That's kind of cool. I know the, uh, Arrow Video Reanimator set has that feature, so that's cool. I like it when a movie, uh, like DVDs do that for movies and that. Uh, there's a director's commentary for your deleted scenes, original featurette, theatrical trailers, talent files, uh, interactive menu scene selection with motion images, exclusive making of featurette, uh, conjuring the craft. And that's about it in regards to special features, but it seems like it's a decent one. Uh, release, uh, it's, uh, the special edition of The Craft. So, yeah. The Craft. Next one is another one I have not seen yet. I heard good things about it, so that's why I picked it up. I waited till it went down price. I think by the time I picked it up, it was like $5 at Walmart. And that is Cobweb. I have not seen Cobweb. Uh, I don't really know much, much, I don't really know much, I don't really know much about the movie. Uh, I did watch a review, but then kind of just, once it started getting into spoiler territory, that's when I kind of just checked out. I was like, it looked interesting enough, so I was like, you know what, I'll pick it up for five dollars, and maybe, uh, at some point I'll do a review of Falcon. But there are special features here. There is, a uh, Become the Girl featurette, and uh, through the eyes of a child featurette and a primal fear featurette. So there are three featurettes on this uh, DVD release. So yeah, got this at Walmart for five dollars. Next one is the most recent pickup. I literally got this in uh, the other day, like yesterday, and it's one I have seen and one that I've also reviewed. So you will see the link to the review down below, so you can hear my thought full thoughts on the movie. And that is Deadstream. So if you don't know, Deadstream it was a Shutter original back in, uh, when did it came out? Uh, 2022, so a couple years ago. It's a found footage horror comedy. Uh, so I watched it, and all I'll just say is I love this movie. I, I felt like I had to pick it up. Uh, there is a, if you guys are wondering, oh, does it have a Blu-ray release? Yes, there is a Blu-ray release, and it of the steelbook so you could get a cool steelbook blu-ray edition of this movie but i was like you know what i don't really need the blu-ray and that so i would save some money and just uh, i think this was like ten dollars on amazon uh there are special features here there's an audio commentary with the writer director the writer and the directors of uh, vanessa and joseph winter producer jared cook and actress melanie stone uh Deleted and alternate scenes, monster and makeup VFX, bringing Deadstream to life. Uh, featurette, there's a on the set of Deadstream featurette, bloopers, daystream, test footage and rehearsals, uh, the cameras and lighting of Deadstream featurette, sound design and mix scene, Deadstream featurette, and true scary stories from the set of Deadstream featurette. So it looks like uh, it's packed full of special features just with the standard DVD. So this is not a bare bones release. Really. So I'm excited to own this. I really love the movie. Again, I'll have my full review in the description box below so that you guys can go check it out. So yeah, Deadstream. Next one is another rebuy. 
I saw this at the garage sale where I got uh, uh, where I got the blade collection. I was like, I gotta get this, and uh, this is legit my first steel book, and that is Godzilla 2014. Um, uh, Gareth Edwards Godzilla, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the second American Godzilla remake. What, again, whatever you want to call this movie. Uh, Legendary Pictures Godzilla. You know? Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of this movie. There's some elements I like about it. Uh, but, I mean, overall, it's okay. It's an okay movie. Uh, at some point, I will do a review of Godzilla 2014. Uh, but I really do like the look of this steel book. So, and includes, uh, I think it, yeah, it includes the Blu-ray and, uh, like, the 4K and just the standard Blu-ray. So, yeah. Um, the, st uh, steel book, 4K steel book of Godzilla 2014. The next one I got is one I have heard of before but never seen. Mostly through, uh, if you guys remember Josh on the channel, uh, he used to talk about this movie when we were talking about another movie, and that is Hollow Man. I have not seen Hollow Man. Uh, and I got this at this, again, the same garage sale where I got the Blade Collection and Godzilla 2014 Steelbook. So I was like, yeah, I had to get this. Uh, this is a special edition DVD of Hollow Man. Uh, there it, the special features include uh, isolated music score with Jerry Goldsmith commentary. Okay, that's cool. It also has commentary. Um, wait, Jerry Goldsmith composed the music for this movie? Uh, same Jerry Goldsmith who composed the music for Poltergeist and The Omen. That's cool. Uh, HBO making of uh, Atomy of a Thriller uh, documentary. There's uh, three deleted scenes with a, a audio commentary. Uh, fleshing out the Hollow Man 15 behind the scenes featurettes, uh, VFX picture and picture comparisons, uh, town files, theatrical trailers, uh, production notes. So, yeah, uh, a lot of special features in this Curtis release. Again, haven't seen this movie at some point, I will do a review of Hollow Man. And speaking of that same garage cell, I was like, oh, they also have this. They, they had. Hollow Man 2. So I was like, you want, if I'm getting the first Hollow Man, might as well get the second one with it. Uh, again, never seen either Hollow Man movies, but this one also has special features. Not as so many. Uh, there's Inside Hollow Man 2 featurette, a Visual Effects featurette, Storyboard Scene featurette, and Storyboard Gallery. So yeah, um, Hollow Man 2. Next one is a TV series, and this is one I have seen, and I actually am working on a review for this uh, series. Um, and season two is going to be coming out next month, and I'm so excited! And that is The Last of Us season one. Man, I'm. I. I. I really, I, I really love uh, this series, uh, the, like the first season of this. Uh, I love the games of The Last of Us. At some point, I'll also maybe do a review of The Last of Us games, because I have them, and maybe I'll do that before Last of Us Season 2 comes out, along with uh, uploading my review of Season 1. But yeah, uh, got this uh, actually on sale. I think it got for like $12 on Amazon, and got it for my birthday uh, last year, I believe. So yeah. Last of Us Season 1. Uh, there are special features. Uh, over two hours of bonus content, including three never-before-seen featurettes. Uh, Kurt Controller's Dawn, Adapting the Last of Us. Feature, fe adapting the Last of Us featurette. There's also from Levels to Live Action and the Last, uh, Last of Us Strangers in Fiction featurettes on here. So yeah, tons of special features. So uh, yeah. I really, really love this series, uh, and again, excited for season two next year. Okay, so this is the next pile I was telling you guys about, the second pile. The 
so here's the first one. Uh, and uh, I got this one before before I got uh, Deadstream, and I got picked this up at Walmart. I think again, I think I picked this up along with uh, Cobweb uh, in another movie you'll see on this list, but in this collection video, and that is the Last Voyage of the Demeter. Uh, so yeah, after I watched it on Amazon Prime, I did a review of it, and uh, you can check out that review. Again, I'll put the, post the link to the review in the description box below. Uh, but I love this movie, and I was like, you know what, I had to pick it up. Saw it for $12 on at Walmart, and I was like, it was the only copy left, and for some reason, I unfortunately got one of the worst copies and had a bit of damage, but it's not the worst I've seen. Uh, there are special features. Uh, it includes deleted scenes with alternate opening, uh, commentary with the director and producer, uh, from the pits of hell, Dracula reimagined, Dr from the pits of hell, uh, Dracula reimagined, featurette, evil is aboard, the making of the last voyage of the meter, and more. So, yeah, this is a collector's edition DVD. So yeah, The Last Voyage of the Demeter. Next up, I picked up, uh, I believe either, it was either at the garage sale or at the pawn shop, and I just felt like I had to get this, and that is the, uh, Mummy Collector, like, the Mummy Collector's set, uh, the franchise collection. Now, this includes the Mummy, the Mummy Returns, and the Scorpion King. Uh, I remember seeing the original, like the, I remember seeing the Mummy, uh, and yes, I know it's a remake and not the original. The original is, stars, uh, Boris Karloff as the Mummy, so, this one, this series stars, uh, Brandon Frazier at, in the main role, so, yeah, and this is more of an action, uh, swashbuckler type tone, and, uh, the original is was more horror. But yeah, uh, I got this, so I think I'm only missing, uh, <clears throat> I think I'm only missing, uh, the rest of the Scorpion King movies and the, uh, third Mummy movie, uh, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. So, yeah, had to pick this up. Uh, the Mummy Collector set. And we got another series here, so, uh, around the time when I picked up the Adams Family, uh, the complete series set. I was like, you know what? I also want to pick up the other set that is very, like, it's kind of like people compare it to. Uh, and that is The Monsters. I got the complete series of The Monsters. So now I have the complete series of The Monsters and the original Adam's Family series. Uh, I have seen the first uh, episode of season one of The Monsters. It was okay. Uh, better than the Rob Zombie movie, which I have seen, and I will pick up at some point and probably do a review for you guys. Um, but yeah, there are special features. There is a uh, family portrait uh, episode in full color. Uh, there's an unaired pilot episode. Uh, Fred Gwynn, more than a monster featurette. Uh, Yvonne De Caro, uh, Gilded Lily featurette. Al Lewis Forever Grandpa Future Ed, America's First Family of Fright, which is an in-depth examination of the cast, the show, and their place in television history. And it also includes uh, two feature-length movies. It includes um, Monster Go Home and The Monster's Revenge, so it also includes a couple of the movies. So yeah, got this for $20 on Amazon. Uh, actually, no, I think I got it for like eleven dollars twelve dollars it was on sale so i was like yeah i get this and then i also got uh the original adam's family set which i've never seen anything adam's family related so yeah uh the monsters the complete series dvd set okay we only got about five more uh, dvds and blu-rays here so next one up is a blu-ray and i got this one uh with a uh, dead stream recently so this recently came in the mail and that is uh, Renfield. Now, I have seen Renfield. Uh, I haven't reviewed it, but I will once after I do enough of rewatch of Renfield. So expect to see a review of it on this channel. 
The only thing I'll say is I really freaking love this movie. I love Renfield. It's definitely a surprise of 2023. So that's why I had to pick it up. And the Blu-ray was the same price as the V on Amazon. I was like, why not just get the Blu-ray? So uh, there are special features. There are deleted extended scenes, alternate takes, Dracula Uncaged featurette, and more. So yeah. Renfield. Next up is the number one I have seen but I have yet to review. And I will be reviewing this soon. And that is Saw X. Now, I this is another film I really love. Uh, I already did a ranking of the franchise for a short YouTube short video. And uh, to kind of spoil my ranking, uh, this is this has replaced my original second favorite of the franchise. Originally, my second favorite has always been Saw 2, but this one dethroned Saw 2 for me. And I was not expecting that walking into Saw X. So there, there are special features. There's audio commentary with the director slash editor, Kevin Gruder. Uh, cinematography, well, cinematographer Nick Matthews, and production designer Anthony Stapley. Uh, drawing inspiration featurette, makeup department, uh, trap test featurette, deleted scenes, and a theatrical trailer. So yeah, Saw X and I'm excited for Saw 11. I'm excited for Saw 11, baby. Next one is one that I have seen and I have covered on the channel. So again, I will uh, put the link in, of my review in the description box below. I got this uh, in the same set that I got... Deadstream Ren and Renfield. So this came in very recently, so like yesterday. And that is Sick. So for those who don't know, Sick is a horror comedy that was uh, produced by Blumhouse uh, and uh, written by Kevin Williamson, uh, the writer of Scream. And this was a Peacock. Uh, it premiered on Peacock, and uh, I guess they decided to release on DVD and that. Uh, this is, a uh, this, this is a, uh, horror comedy slasher film that takes place during the, uh, pandemic, uh, and, uh, this is essentially the premise. As the pandemic steadily brings the world to a halt, best friends Parker Manson, Mary Woodlow, sorry, and Mary Woodlow decide to quarantine together at Parker's family secluded, family secluded lake house. Upon arrival, Parker begins to receive strange text messages from an unknown number, unsettling both girls and uh, unsettling both girls and leaving them to question if they are truly alone. And actually, I really had a fun time with this movie, so that's why I had to pick it up. But yeah, I will post uh, my, the I will post a link. To my full review in the description box below so you guys could check out my full thoughts on the movie so yeah sick and there are no special features it's just bare bones DVD. it's just a movie okay second to last uh movie got this during um uh, as a christmas stocking stuffer last year checked out for five dollars i was waiting for this film to drop in price and i saw it for five dollars and i was like i have And that is Smile. I have never seen Smile. I've heard good things about it. Um, so yeah, there are no special features on this release. It's just, again, bare bones. But yeah, Smile. I will be doing a review of Smile at some point once I get around to watching it. And the last movie in this video is VHS Viral on Blu-ray. So, uh, I actually did, got VHS and VHS 2, uh, VHS on DVD and VHS 2 on Blu-ray. I actually watched VHS, uh, for the first time with my brother, Kristen, and, uh, well, with my brother, and, uh, I remember liking enough, there was a couple stories that, uh, I liked more than others, but, uh, if you don't know, the VHS franchise is a found footage for anthology series where it tells different stories uh, from different directors and that. 
Uh, the newest release is uh, VHS 85, which is, I believe, uh, let's see, which is the sixth film of the franchise, uh, premiered on Shudder. So the last three uh, VHS films are Shudder originals. Uh, but yeah, um, I really, I, I thought the first VHS was a pretty decent time. Uh, at some point I will rewatch it and, uh, do my review VHS and maybe do a whole, uh, franchise review series of these movies, so, and maybe eventually do a ranking of the VHS, uh, franchise and all that stuff, so. There are special features to this Blu-ray, there's a filmmaker commentary. Bone Storm and Dante the Great Segments, an offering of an offering of behind the scenes uh, featurettes, uh, production slash behind the scenes galleries and storyboard storyboards, cast and crew interviews, and a AXS TV a look at the VHS viral featurette. So yeah, some decent uh, special features. So yeah. Be just viral. Now that is it for uh, this collection update video. And again, I want to show you just in contrast how much uh, stuff I actually got. Whew. Like just look at the stack. Look at it. It's just whew. I could barely fit it, and like I could barely hold on to it. That's why I added in uh, uh, two stacks. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. It would really help out the channel. I just looked and uh, my channel is now at 125 subscribers. So uh, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going and I'll be able to do more content and maybe even better content. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Whoa.